What an enormous crowd. Such a huge crowd. Is it a little scary sitting uh, among so many people? A little bit? Yeah? I am a little bit scared to be addressing such a huge gathering. Maybe overwhelming is the right word that rather than scared. I'm overwhelmed when I look at you and I think what wonderful things you will be. Would you be would you be someone, some great engineer that facilitates settlement on Mars? Or better yet, would you be a person who would salvage the planet Earth through technology and innovation and problem solving? Or would you be a corporate leader influencing innovation and, um, and making better so many thousands of lives? or an entrepreneur creating jobs and wealth for the people, or a scientist who keeps adding new knowledge for the betterment of human life, or an educator who shapes generations to come, or would you be a product designer or would you, that, you know, you can bring in products to enrich our day-to-day -day life? Or would you be such an innovator to bag a Nobel Prize? Please tell me there is a future Nobel Prize winner sitting in this crowd today. Or would you be the architect of human life itself? What wonderful things are you going to be? When I think of that, it overwhelms me. Congratulations, you made it to VIT. But that's not the end of the journey, as you all know it. It's just the beginning of the journey. But it's not a grueling, hard-working journey. But I promise you, with the right attitude, it's going to be an enjoyable, fulfilling, and delightfully challenging journey. It will be challenging, all right. Without challenge, we can't thrive. But it can be delightfully challenging with the right attitude. And how would you make this journey? How would you journey through this wonderful thing that you want to be? When is the fastest you've ever learned in your life? When is the fastest you've ever learned in your life? When you were a kid, right? The fastest learning happens between the ages zero to three. How did you do all that learning? through just one thing, and that is curiosity. And you first learn to say a few words or walk the walk and talk the talk, right? You were amazingly delighted. I think I have parents who can vouch for that. They probably remember when you first said those sweet words, Amma, Dada, Nana, yes? Appa. So that joy of learning, bring that back into your lives again. Life is a joy, but learning is even more enjoyable. Without learning, we cannot thrive. And the day we stop learning, we stop living. So, and learning is like, you know, nourishment. You cannot eat a lot of food at once and digest. Learning is best done in nibbles, bits and nibbles, and bites. So you take a little bit and then you digest it. So my advice is learn continuously, learn every day. Find time to learn every day. Amongst the rest of the things that happen for your holistic development, make time for your learning, indirect learning as well as direct learning. 
And can you make a commitment to lifelong learning? I'm still learning. I've never stopped learning. And I'd like to say that till I die, I will be learning. How else would you make this journey to that wonderful thing you want to be? Look around you, identify the problems. And where others see problems, what do you see? You should see opportunities, opportunities to solve those problems. But before you put your problem solving hat on, hone your skills on how to identify a problem how to state a problem, how to first understand the problem and how to state the problem, right? And then you put your problem solving hats on. And, and what else would you do through this journey? Research, research, research. Uncover, discover and recover. Internet is a great library at the tips of your fingers. Internet can be used for many things. But research and learning and understanding are the primary things that it ought to be used for. Okay. And then I want to say, now if you go through this journey, while you go through this journey, do not lose your empathy your human touch and your camaraderie. So with the human touch and with your intelligence, you can conquer the world. Now, you are my fellow technologists and fellow computer science engineers and scientists. So you ought to create, not just use the tools. Long before you were born, there were calculators and computers. But when you went to school, did you stop learning arithmetic tables or addition? Now, if I ask you seven times eight, I won't ask you seven times eight. There's probably a practical problem where you have to multiply seven by eight. Would you look up the internet or do, take out your calculator? I hope not. I hope you're, you know, quick enough to get that answer in the mind, right? See, knowledge needs to be absorbed. Knowledge is at our fingertips today, which is good. But you need to absorb the knowledge in your heart, in your mind for this better decision making. You don't want to be running to tools all the time. Tools are great. I use them all the time. But the tools should not become you. They should not overtake you, okay? So if you are just the sum of the tools that are created by others, you'll just be a robot, you'll just be a cyborg. No, I want, to be, I want you to be a human. I want to be a human. I want to be that imperfect human with a lot of creativity. There are things that only I can solve. There are things that only I can achieve because of the intelligence that I have. Because of the intelligence I honed, not just by using the tools, but by using my brain. That's what I want you to say to me. So yes, use away the chat GPT, use away the AI, use away all those wonderful apps that you have, but don't let them take over you. Your emotion, your humanity, your intelligence, preserve that. So create with me, don't succumb. If I go write an essay using a chat GPT, it will be chat GPT who's talking, it won't be me. I'm certainly not talking to you today by looking at ChatGPT. And that's me, the imperfect me that is talking to you. But that's the beautiful side, right? It's me, not just something that somebody wrote to learn. But you create with me such tools that will enrich human lives. Okay? And I. You know, how many of you felt what a beautiful campus it is? Okay. 
We have a beautiful campus, thanks to everybody who did it that way. But I look around, the freshers have started coming in, the campus started getting a little dirtier. Sorry to say. But, yeah, maybe because the crowds are huge right now with, you know, with every student that's coming in, there are also parents and relatives and so on. The, the crowds are huge. But when the dust settles, I want you to own the campus. It is your campus. It's not just ours. It's your campus. Keep it clean. Keep it clean in more than one word. Okay? Do not litter. Do not spit. But keep it clean in other senses of the word too. Be respectful to each other. Be respectful to the environment. Recycle, reuse and restore. And be respectful to your, be respectful to your teachers, the officers of the university, the people, each and every one of us who work here, and your colleagues, your fellow students, your juniors, I mean, when they come, and your seniors. Be respectful of all of them. So never lose sight of that humanity in you, the friendships, and then the camaraderie. And respect your mental health and physical health. We have great resources for physical health as well as mental health. We have counselors. Dr. Rita is sitting right there. If you could, ma'am, stand up. Thank you. And there are, uh, she has a set of uh, very empathetic individuals. If we have an ailment, we go to a doctor. If we have a problem with our, you know, mental health, could be that I have a lot of stress, could be that I have a dilemma. So if I need help, I should see a friend or I should free, feel free to go to the counselors. Nothing wrong with that. Please use those resources and uh, please use them well. And um, talking about respect to the colleagues, I want to say one thing. While you go through all this journey, there is a visible and invisible team behind you. A great big army that helps you become better individuals. So today I want to thank all my colleagues sitting out here, sitting out there among, amongst you for doing all the wonderful things that only they know. And I want to thank our chief guest, Dr. Uh, Mr. Ilavarasu Krishnan. He's the VP of Dell Technologies. And I want to thank our guest of honor, Ms. Samta. She is an associate director at Flipkart. She manages university relations. And I want to thank all the parents who partner with us to create these wonderful human beings that will enrich our lives. And I want to salute our Chancellor for his never-ending care and leadership. Finally, I want to say, engineer your life, don't hack it. A very good morning to you all.